Yeah. Scott, it seemed like you guys had it humming in the first half and offense a little bit. What, what did you think changed there in the second half? But, you know, I, I'm not sure. We, we just didn't. We played a really poor second half. Uh, we didn't get very many possessions in the first half. I thought we did a good job offensively with what we had. A uh, good enough job defensively. Um, gave them seven points on a turnover. I give Purdue a lot of credit. Um, they stuck to their plan and won a, a game on the road in the Big Ten. Um, you can't go minus four in turnovers and beat very many people in the Big Ten. And um, we played a, a poor second half. Young quarterback, and you trust Adrian? Did you think about making a change in the second half? Yeah, um, not really. Um, in my mind, I did. We didn't talk about it. Out at the end of the first half, what did you see on the pass to Torre, and how big of a miss was that for momentum going into halftime? Yeah, we uh, again, it comes down to a couple of plays, and we got to make them. And um, you know, we kind of got a break to get the ball back with a little bit of time. Thought we had him in a good call, and. Uh, the play was there, and if you hit that, it's probably a different game. Uh, even with giving them a pick six and, and seven points in the first half. Um, so that, that would have been a big play. Does the fact you're coming off a of bye week make this any more disappointing to you? I don't know what could make this more disappointing, bye week or no bye week. Um, you know, we got a good enough team to win these games, and we're not winning them. I know the turnovers inform this to some degree, but they possessed the ball for almost 39 minutes. Some of that is the, the defense couldn't get them off the field. But talk, talk just about the game management and the game flow and Purdue being able to control that even when they were behind. You know, we didn't play a good enough overall team game, Sam. Um, you know, we've been so good against the run and up front on defense, and I thought we gave them too many yards on first down. Um, we gave them too many easy throws, probably. You know, that, that being said, the defense basically gave up 21 points today. Um, offense helped them out with seven um, and other turnovers. And on some of the turnovers, the defense went out and got stops, big stops. But uh, just overall, you know, we had to be a little bit better against the run, and the time possession would have been different. And, um, you know, what do we have a couple drives where it was one play interception or two plays, and the um, ball flies up in the air and they get it? That's going to change the time of possession. You said you're looking forward to seeing Adrian at 100%. What did they do to? Limit him in the run game, or was he at 100 percent by the time? The game he's was close, the you know. He's he's still dealing with things, but he's close. Um, at the end of the day, we can't turn it over four times. Why do you think you guys struggled to run the ball in the second half? I don't know. We're going to look at the tape. Um, you know, we got two penalties when we couldn't. Uh, we came out on the first play, I think, and got nine yards. Uh, had a sh shot plan for the first time. We got in second and one, and uh, didn't convert and. That drive was over. Got another one going with a drive on the first play of the next series, I believe. And um, and then just didn't, I don't think we blocked very well. Um, five's a really good player. They got some good players. I think they're third, you know, they're a good team too. They got the fourth ranked defense in the conference or whatever it is. Um, but some of the blocks and things we were doing in the first half, uh, we didn't get done in the second. The fan base has been pretty resilient, but how would you describe kind of the vibe in that stadium in the second half? Uh, you know, I, I'm grateful to the fans. I'm grateful for an opportunity to coach my, my alma mater. Um, I'm impatient to to have these games turn out a different way. I'm grateful to the fan base. Um, I was just as frustrated as them in the second half. When you're down there, do you notice, you know, how many people have cleared out midway through the fourth quarter? Um, not really. Um, I'm I'm too dialed in trying to get the guys play a little better. I know you're just off this one. You said. You have a good enough team to win, and, and you haven't won them over the five. I mean, can you put your finger on? It's taken a lot of different forms, but best guess on just why that hasn't. Happened. We, we just got to play better. Um, you know, we we could. Uh, we're a good team. We're not a great team, talent wise. Um, we got to we got to play better. Um, a team can't shouldn't need me to motivate them all the time. That's my job. That's what I do. But a, a, a great team doesn't need a coach to motivate them all the time. Um, we got them ready to play. I thought they came out ready to play in the first half. Um, I don't think they weren't um, not ready to play in the second half. We just stubbed our toe again a few times and made too many mistakes and got beat by a, a Big Ten team. We saw a lot of Jacques Plezian on the second quarter touchdown drive, but he only had two carries the rest of the game. 
why was that? Oh, we didn't get very many plays in the second half, and uh, protections right now, and out of the backfield, Ramirez just uh, ahead of where Jock is. Couple more, Scott. What, what do you say to these guys? I mean, you got three left. Ohio State's coming to town. I mean, what, what's the sense in the locker room about the? The players. You know, magic speeches aren't going to change this. So to be honest with you, today I uh, left the locker room and had the captains address them. Um, and uh, some of these guys are, we got great captains. We got good character kids. And uh, I know guys like Austin Allen and JoJo uh, are going to want to finish it and finish it the right way. So, um, and we need a little more of that. So um, the guys will keep working, but it, it's disappointing. How many games left? Do there are, you go looking for new answers, or you just try to reinforce what you've already told? Uh, there's no new answers. Um, we'll look for them. Uh, we're always looking for them. Always looking for ways to get better. Um, you know, again, uh, we went fast there at the end, and it looked it looked great uh, on that last drive. We tried to do that the two drives before, and and turned it over. Um, Sometimes when we do that, you take a sack and it kills the drive. Uh, we just got to be a little bit better. Um, if we're a little bit better in protection, we can trust that stuff a little more. When we're going fast, it really neutralizes pass rush because guys get tired and uh, it helps out our own line. But I don't want to do that to our defense either. So it, everything is, uh, we just got to be a little bit better. Adrian's so capable of making big plays, uh, but he's also prone to mistakes. Is there? On a day like today, do you tell him to play more conservatively, or do you tell him to keep taking chances? Or like, how do you walk that line with a quarterback who, you know, can do a lot of things when he's right? No, I don't want any of my players playing conservatively. Um, he's good enough to make the throws he missed today. You know, the one play that disappointed me was uh, with him, and I let him hear about it. Was a uh, he scrambled out of the pocket on a third and six or whatever, and I was out of bounds one yard short of the the chains. Um, that's where. You got to be a little bit of a nut cutter and lower your shoulder or dive or jump or do whatever you can to keep a drive going. Um, he he, need, he he's a great player. Um, some of those plays our whole team needs to make. Anything else? Do you, do you open up the QB conversation more this week? I know you said at the end you weren't necessarily thinking about it today, but is, does that become more of a? No, that's not a story. Um, we're going to play the guy that we think gives us the best chance to win. Period. Uh, right now, it's Adrian. Feel, last question. Um, do you feel like your team is playing with enough edge to consistently win Big Ten games? I don't. Yeah, I don't think edge is the problem. I think it's the just gritty competitor that's going to go get it done when it matters. And we had a chance to recover the onside kick, and I have to see the replay, but I thought we had it. There's the play, um, and there's 20 of them in every game, and there's the play, and we we fail to make that play uh, more often than we need to in order to win games.